It's your girl, Missy, here, back with another one, here to give my predictions for BMF Season 3, Episode 10, The Finale. I think this has been a wonderful season. They gave us history, a nice mix of fact and fiction, because a lot of these characters are still alive today, so they can't give it all. Character development was great, especially with Nicole, and there was a lot of action. I think we are all looking forward to the finale, and it better be a good one. The finale will air on Friday, May 10th, I will be taking off that Friday because on Saturday I leave for my cruise. So I want to make sure I get the finale video out for you guys on Friday. And my cruise is my last vacation before power starts back on June 7th. And June 8th is my birthday. So this is a pleasant surprise. Prime time. The synopsis. Meech and Terry return to Atlanta and their American dream is almost taken from them after the authorities are tipped off their recent Miami endeavor. The brothers work together to retrieve everything they have worked hard for and plan to expand to St. Louis and other cities with Miami as a hub. They head to Mexico to re-up on their supply. Meech and Terry are in for one of their greatest adventures. At the end of episode 8, the Red Dogs pull Meech over, got his whip with all the work in it. This is all the work they have and the Red Dogs stated that the vehicle was being impounded. So in this episode, we will see them try to retrieve their drugs. We hear Terry asking Meech what his plan is. My hope is that Francois did an excellent job and they won't be able to find anything and have no choice but to give Meech his whip back. They don't have anything on them. There's no reason to hold their cars. We also see a clip of Harvey throwing the keys at this cat out of frustration, making it seem like he was big mad because he didn't find anything. But by Terry asking Meech what his plan is, the opposite could have happened since this is the finale. So they may take a loss this episode. Lucille and Charles are officially calling it quits. All season, we have seen Lucille drift further and further away from Charles. Charles cheated in season two, so now Lucille is going to make her decision. We see Terry telling Meech that mom and pop are officially calling it quits. And then Lucille tells Charles they will be friends. And Charles says forever. The look on his face was so sad, but hey, when you build your bed, you gotta lie in it. They're on two different pages and it's time to part ways. We see an image of Henry and Jen. Henry will be on demon time. The death of her cousins have ca has caused her to cut her hair off. So Henry tells Jen that she doesn't want to talk about work stuff she wants to play. This is far more aggressive than what Henry has been in the past. In episode 9, she told Jen, you know, she could leave if she wanted to. She was trying to take her time with Jen. And now she's grabbing on her saying she wants to play. I don't think it was smart for Jen to put the wire in Henry's sword. It's possible that Henry found the bug and now she's on to Jen. Or she found out who Jen was some other way. So what will happen to Jen in the finale? My guess is that Jen is going to die. She may not make it into the next season. It's time for Remy and Meech to have a showdown. At the end of the day, like I said several videos ago, Remy killed Ty Washington and the streets need a body. Remy gotta go. He's doing too much. He's getting kids killed. He is out for blood when it comes to Meech and he is not gonna stop. So he gotta go. This Remy situation needs to be resolved by the season finale because Meech is gonna have other issues in season four. It's time to progress past Techwood and the MKs. So we see the two crews in the finale on the opposite side and my hope is that it ends with Remy dying. We saw his backstory and now he could get the heck on so that Meech takeover can continue. Since the description says that Meech is making Miami his hub, it seems like we will also find out that Glock is dead in the finale. We will also be seeing Meech and Terry go to Mexico to re-up their supply. Something may also happen to Loco as well. He had a pretty good season, but my hope is that he does not get hemmed up. They have to leave us with a cliffhanger, so I'm wondering what they will be. It's not going to end with everything being all good this season, I don't think. I think Meech and Terry may take an L. My boy Hoop got shot, so everybody needs to be on Demon Time to find out who did it. Losing Diesel was one thing, but Terry's right-hand man being shot is another. Henry needs to be dealt with because she's out of control. And along with that, Bryant is doing too much. I hope that Henry finds out that it was really Bryant that killed both of her cousins, Twan and Tyson. This will lead to a major war between Bryant and Henry with Blaze having to step in. So who will die and who will make it into season four? I really feel like Henry is one of those characters that's in and out this season and that she's not going to make it. 
Will we see Rodney Green in the finale, and will he make good on his threats to Angel? Y'all know what usually happens when a character disappears for a few episodes, they pop up and cause issues. Also, they dropped Big Mike's name for a reason. Greeny implicated Meech in the shooting of Big Mike, so we should hear something from Robert Fulton and the mob, unless they drop the ball on this one. We should also see Counsel Amberson in this episode. So Jen may talk to him about what happened to his daughter and the fact that Henry was responsible for it so that he can help take Henry down. What is going to happen with Nicole and Breeze? The real Nicole is married with two children. Her oldest son turned 31 in March of this year and Nicole was born October 1974. So she will be 50 later on this year, putting her at around age 18 years old when she had her first son. So is Breeze just Nicole's first boyfriend or will it develop into something more? I'm loving Nicole's story and also wondering if Lucille and Charles will find out in the finale that Nicole has been sneaking Breeze into the house. So what is next for Terry and Markeisha? I think they ended on a sour note in episode 9. But Terry is the one who invited Markeisha to Miami knowing that him and Beach had to handle business. I get that she was doing the most in Miami, but Terry was wild for even bringing her. Also, will we hear from Vince again? Vince threatened Terry with the IRS, so will he make good on his threat? Also wanted to address a couple of issues. CPS and the Red Dogs being on alert and him and Meech up when he got back in town. I think the CPS situation was done by Henry. Once Bryant gave her the information on Terry, CPS showed up. I do think they want viewers to believe that it was Markeisha though, especially with her and Terry having so many problems this season. But she really does not strike me as the type to call CPS or the cops or anyone else on Terry. That just doesn't seem like her MO, especially since he's going to end up staying with her through the entire series. What do you all think? Now in regards to the Red Dogs in episode 9, I think Remy made the call to the Red Dogs or obviously has someone make the call because he stated in episode 9 that Meech was still a problem, he's an outsider, and he plans to keep him an outsider, and that he wanted to be ready for his next move. When he found out that Meech had a run-in with the MKs in Miami, and that his crew was spotted driving cars out of Atlanta, Remy said that he was not letting any more outsiders in his city. So I really feel like that Remy is responsible for tipping off or having someone tip off the Red Dogs. Some people think that it's Markeisha, but one, that doesn't strike me as something that she would do. And two, she's in Detroit. She ain't got no contacts in Atlanta to call no Red Dogs. All right, cousins, what are the highlights for you? What are your predictions for the season finale? It's been a great one. Let's talk about it. All opinions are welcome. Please comment your thoughts. See you later. Woo!